guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aisha and I do fashion hauls and lifestyle related videos. If you're into that kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. Also, I'm gonna leave my Instagram right over here in case you guys wanna check it out. As you can tell from the title of today's video, it's going to be a favorites one and I'm going to dive into what I've been loving for the month of January. I'll be talking about products that are within my clothing, home, and hair favorites, I think. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first and only favorite I have from the clothing category this month is this balloon hoodie from H&M that I purchased, um, I want to say about a month ago. I think I purchased it in December and it has, end of December, and it has 100% been a favorite for the month of January for me. This hoodie right here is what I've been living in for for the past couple of weeks. I basically wanted more comfortable oversized pieces that I could wear at home and this hoodie is doing exactly that. It has dropped shoulders and long balloon sleeves, which gives it its oversized poofy look. I find this hoodie to be a great work for home piece as well. I'm a teacher and I'm teaching online and I find that I can wear this hoodie online with my students only because I feel that it gives off a very comfortable chic look if you wear it the right way rather than the unprofessional laid back look. Overall, I really love this piece. It is so comfortable and I think I really want to get it in other colors, so we'll see about that. But I will definitely keep wearing this piece as much as I can. Alright, onto the beauty sector I guess, which is not really beauty because all I'm talking about in this section is skincare, so let's do that. The first product I have for my favorites within my skincare for this month is this Retinol 0.5 in Squalene Serum by The Ordinary. Now The Ordinary has been around for quite some time now and I mentioned it in my vlog that I actually started using Ordinary four years ago and then I stopped because I started breaking out like crazy. But it was because of the way I was using it rather than the products. This time I decided to build my skincare steps up slowly and so the first thing that I really introduced to my skincare routine that I already had in place was this Retinol Serum. I purchased this product because I had been meaning to add in a retinol serum into my skincare routine. This one by The Ordinary is great because it has a squalene delivery system which basically means that it is an oil that helps soften down the retinol and it becomes a great product for first time retinol users. I have noticed no itching or flaking with this product which I know a bunch of retinol users do. I just noticed a slight itching feeling in the beginning but I found that that was completely normal. I will say that this product does have an oily residue, but I think that was based on how much I was applying it. As soon as I decreased the amount I was applying it, the oily residue naturally just went away itself. Currently I'm using this product two times a week, but I'm going to up it to three times a week. Overall, my skin just feels super smooth and elastic ever since I've started using this. So I definitely love it and I will keep on using this. Okay, my next two products that are within skincare for my favorites are with the brand called The Inky List. Now the first thing I wanted to talk about from The Inky List was their Q10 Antioxidant Serum and um, I just have a lot to say about this because I really like it. So basically, I purchased the Q10 Serum after watching Skincare by Hiram's video and watched him rave about it and I was like, you know what, I need to have this in my life because he truly knows a lot about skincare and the way he dived into the ingredients about this and just the things that it does, I was convinced and I was like, I need to buy this ASAP. So even though this bottle is a little small and that's one of the issues I have with this product is that it is so small and I wish it was bigger but um, it's small because it does say to use a pea sized amount on your fingertips and it really does go a long way. After I use this my face just feels absolutely amazing. It literally feels like my skin is breathing and it feels great. I've been using this product every morning as a layer underneath my CeraVe moisturizer and I love the beautiful glow it gives me in the morning. I truly feel more awake than I did before and I will definitely be repurchasing this as soon as it finishes. Alright, and my last favorite that I have from the Inky list is this Vitamin C Brightening Cream. This cream, again, was a purchase that was influenced by Skincare by Hiram. Literally, I was just watching this video and I ended up buying the things that he recommended and um, I really like this. I believe I purchased all of these products in the beginning of January and so I've used this a handful of times now. I use this product one to two times a week as a part of my nighttime routine, mainly because this is a vitamin C cream and I don't want to apply it in the morning since I don't have a proper sunscreen. That is literally next on my list. I need a proper sunscreen, so if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know because I am really on the hunt for one. When I purchased this product, and if you go on the Sephora website, you'll see that the reviews online are pretty mixed, but it's been serving me well. So I'm not sure if it's not suiting everybody properly or if it's just the way people are applying it. I apply this cream during the nighttime and I make sure that I'm not applying it on the same days I'm using my retinol serum. I basically try to, I have made a schedule for my skincare where I don't use retinol, vitamin C on the same days because it 
isn't the best combination and I've heard that it can cause a very itchy burning sensation to your skin so I make sure to use it on the days I'm not using retinol and the way I use it is that basically it's a cream and I don't believe it is supposed to be used alone I think it's supposed to be mixed in with something and I've read reviews and I've watched videos and a lot of people say that the best way to use vitamin C is to mix it in with your moisturizer so that's exactly what I do I basically grab a pea-sized amount of this on my fingertips and I put it in with my moisturizer mix it in and apply it to my face I have had no issues since I started using this and overall my skin does feel brighter and more radiant so I really like this product all right and the last thing within the beauty category that is actually within the hair category is my dry oil from OGX now this dry argan oil has been a constant repurchase for me because of how lightweight it is and how fragrant it is I love spraying this onto my hair right after I get out of the shower and because it's a dry oil it leaves no greasy type of feeling it just makes my hair smell amazing I also apply this to my hair before I start using my T3 curling iron and I find that this product makes my hair or curls last so much longer than they usually do and so I really love it for that if I could, I would include this in all of my monthly favorites because this is genuinely an everyday use for me. Um, you can see right over here, it's actually finishing because of how much I use it. I just really like it. I love spraying it on the days. Even if I'm not showering, it just makes your hair smell so good. And it doesn't make your hair feel oily, which is what I like about it. So, you know what? Definitely a favorite. Okay, I think we're almost done with the favorites. That was it for the beauty and skincare section. Now onto the home favorites. All right, first thing within my home favorites is something that I have been loving so, so much. Like I can't even explain it. And it is my David's Tea Tea Tumbler. Now I really started drinking herbal teas. I wanna say in the beginning of November or October, I'm not completely sure, but I remember making a favorites video about the teas I've been loving. So I think it was sometime before that. I think it was in October. Anyways, I love this thing. This is literally something I use every single day and it has really changed my life. It stores so much tea and it's not only for hot teas, you can use it for iced cold teas as well. I haven't tried that though because I don't really drink iced cold teas, I usually drink hot teas, but this is amazing, I love it so much. I actually had a little learning curve with this one because I've never had a tumbler before and I didn't realize how long they keep your teas like boiling hot for, so I would put like boiling hot water into this obviously as you do when you make tea and I wouldn't top it off with any cold water and so my teas wouldn't get cold for the longest time and I wouldn't be able to drink them. So now what I do is that I fill up boiling water, I wanna say three quarters of the way and the rest of it I fill it with ice cold water and that's when I find that the temperature of this tea is absolutely perfect. It doesn't cool off too fast and is literally just the right temperature for me to drink it at. I genuinely just love this thing and I think I plan on buying more in the future because I find myself washing this every single day and I want to have more of them on hand. I genuinely stopped using all of my mugs which is kind of sad because my mugs are now wasted. Not really but like I don't use them and I just completely rely on this tea tumbler. So you know what if you're into teas or if you're trying to get into teas or even coffee or whatever get this tumbler because it keeps your drinks so so warm and it is definitely a favorite. I love it. Okay, and the last thing I have within the home section are these two home care books, and let's go through them one by one. Okay, so the first book I have is the Home Edit Life book by Clea and Joanna, and I absolutely love this. If you guys don't know who Clea Shearer and Joanna Tuplin are, they're these professional A-list organizers. Like, they organize homes for celebrities, but they also organize homes for, like, everyday people. They also have a Netflix show, and if you guys haven't watched the Netflix show yet, I highly recommend you go watch it because it is really nice. It's just honestly very calming because you get to see how everything is organized, so that is a definitely must-watch if you haven't watched it. Onto the book though, this book is great because it's different from their other book where their first book talked about um, just the pantry. This one talks about how to contain the chaos in literally all aspects of your life. It is separated in sections and it doesn't just talk about like food wise what you can do, it also talks about clothing wise and office spaces. It's just a great read if you want to organize your life. I'm also a very visual learner and a visual person so this book was great because it has a great combination of text and pictures. I did read some reviews where people did say that it's not worth it because all they do is color coordinate within the rainbow category and that it is more of a guide for A-list and Hollywood celebrities. 
Um, I disagree with that because I think this book is meant for all types of people and the wonderful thing about this book is that you are meant to take what applies to your life. You're not supposed to apply all of this directly to your life because let's be honest, if we were to buy every single thing in this book, it would be super expensive. So I think the way I've used it is just trying to find different ways that I can implement what they talk about in my life and not necessarily buying every product that they mention. But yeah, I truly love this book and if you're into home organizing or if you like organization at all, go buy it because it is definitely a great read. Okay, and the last book I have is The Homebody Book by Joanna Gaines. Now this book, I talked about it on my vlog and it's just an amazing read for any one of you who likes interior home decoration. I love home decoration and I find so much beauty in the way people decorate their homes and it's just the different styles that people do decorate their homes. And she really breaks down the different types of decorating styles that there are that can be incorporated within a house. This book is filled with Joanna's design processes and the little details that make every home unique. What's also amazing about this book is that at the end it gives you a little like drafting template that you can use for your own space. I however will not be doing that because I feel like I can't do anything right on paper. I can usually do things like on an iPad or like a tech software because you can erase it right away. But I feel like as soon as I put pen to paper, I get really stressed out because I feel like I'm almost wrecking the book. So I'm not gonna be touching this. However, if you are into that and if you find that that would be useful for you, um, you can do that because it's available right over here. I think the value in this book lies in the fact that Joanna teaches you how to pay attention to the small little details and she also teaches you how to make your space unique to you. It's amazing because while she talks about how to achieve those things, she also just discusses how to maintain like a function and just the simple beauty of your house. So, you know what, definitely a great read. I sometimes just love to look through it. It's a gigantic book. I still haven't gotten to read all of it. I've gotten to read some sections of it, but it definitely requires time for you to read all of it. Um, but the visuals are great. It's just so aesthetically pleasing and I love it. So yeah, definitely a favorite. Okay, and that pretty much sums up my entire January favorites video. I feel like I didn't talk about a lot of products this month, but I think that's because I didn't get a chance to try a lot of them out. I do stick to a rule that I try out the products for a long period of time so that I know they suit me and then I can relay that information back to you guys. But this is pretty much all the products that I like this month. If you guys have any favorites of your own, please leave them down in the comments below because I love reading your favorites and I love knowing what other people's favorites are for the month or just in general. I just love knowing that. Um, but on that note, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!